friends, it's Deb. I am doing my July empties and low buy update. And I know this is really late, but I did not film any updates at all in the entire month of August. I had pre-filmed one video that went up and then I did my travel vlog haul and that was it. So <laughs> I'm filming my July empties today and then next week or the week after I will film August empties and then we will be caught back up. As far as the low buy portion of here, I started July at minus 38.93. That is what rolled over from June. So that gave me a starting balance of 61.07. And honestly, I have not gone through everything and separated out what was a vacation purchase and what wasn't to determine where I'm at for July. But I think July was okay. I bought a lot of stuff in July and if you want to see everything that I bought please go watch my travel vlogs part one and part two but I have said all year as part of my rules for my low buy this year is that anything that I bought on I had kept referring to a trip next summer which was this trip to Vegas was not going to count against me and that is because I specifically saved money for this trip and planned for purchasing and shopping and whatnot. So this month I didn't put a lot of time and effort or onto this empties into determining like where my budget was at because it, it doesn't really matter if that makes sense. Okay so I'm going to start with skincare because it's in the bin closest to me. I finally finished from Redial Rodial however the Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water $45.00 this was pretty nice. I don't, I don't know that I would repurchase it. I am going to repurpose the bottle now that I have featured it in my empties, but I, I don't, for the price, I would not repurchase it for $45. But if I saw it on sale, I would repurchase it. I finished a Tree Hut Velvet Coffee Shea Sugar Scrub for $10.49. A lot of people did not like the scent and it went on clearance at the end of last year or early this year for like two something a thing and Love Heatherette sent me a message on Instagram saying hey <laughs> heads up and I went and bought a ton. So between this one the one currently in my shower and another one I just rolled into a project earlier today I'm at the end and I'm sad. <laughs> I finished one of my number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Fragrance Free Day Cream with SPF 30. This is my daily moisturizer. It is $27.99. This one is cleaned out and this will be a constant repurchase for me. I do try to get them when Ulta has them on sale. It's usually buy one get one 50% off. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that maybe the Black Friday sale will be a bit better, but if not, we'll just buy it because we use it. I finished some sheet masks. I finished one of the ID.az $4. These ones are lovely. They are very, very moist, like aggressively moist. So I try to pull it out of the pouch and then run it up my arm to drip off the excess serum so I don't waste it. And then you put it on your face and it has a little mesh shield that you peel off. And when you take this off, it will take 20, sometimes 30 minutes for the excess serum to really sink in. But I, I think it's lovely and it's worth the time. I finished three of the rose gold face masks from Azure, $3 a piece. I like these two, but not as much. Also from Azure are the rose gold under eye pads. These are my favorites. These are $2.60 a piece. I finished a couple of things in turn and burn. I finished this little Alginist Genius Liquid Collagen sample. $3.83 for this little sample. <sighs> That's crazy. Anyway, this is the stuff that looks like a little yellow booger and it grosses me out, but it feels so good on the skin. And I was so excited. I went to Sephora's, well, Sephora online to buy this and it was 50% off and it was sold out. Wah, wah. I finished a sample of the Josie Marin Whipped Argon Pro Retinol Body Butter, $1.92. 
I finished a full size of the Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. This is so lovely. My skin really likes this. $68. I finally finished the Best Bud Lip Best Bud Rose Lip Balm. This was in my Women Who Rock project. $15. I finished another well Two more samples in turn and burn. This is the Drunk Elephant Maritinol Oil. Twelve dollars for this little five mil sample. I didn't like it. I finished from Sunday Riley the CEO Glow. Thirteen thirty three. What the heck? For five mil? No, I didn't like that one either. I finished the Cerave. Facial Moisturizing Lotion SPF $30.06. This was in Day of the Dead. Uh, no, I I don't like that at all. And randomly one day I was cleaning out under the bathroom sink. I do this all the time. I go in and I reorganize and rearrange stuff and ugh. Anyway, I found another bath bomb. <laughs> this was a rainbow one and it was $7.50 and I kind of filled up the bottom of the tub before I took a shower and threw it in there and it like soaked my feet and did some fizzy stuff and I used that before I did an exfoliating foot mask and that ended up being a really good idea. I have two miscellaneous items this month. One is the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. This is my holy grail, $45. Buy those around Black Friday. Get on the mailing list today and you will get notified when they go 40% off, which is a killer deal. The next best deal that you will find on those is Sephora. Once in a blue moon, they will have it 20% off. So yeah, the Black Friday sale is amazing. And I usually buy three bottles of it, just FYI. I finished a hand soap from Bath and Body Works. This is Winterberry Ice 750. I was out of scents, like, seasonally appropriate so I was using my Christmas scent. <laughs> we'll do makeup and then if you don't want to watch the wax you can skip ahead. I finished the MAC Prep and Prime Fix plus the matte one. I did not like this. I do not recommend it. $31. I am saying goodbye to this pair of lashes from AOA. These are in the style Willow. These were lovely. I would actually repurchase these and I need to make a note to get more of this style, $1.55. AOA has some just really amazing lashes. The ones I'm wearing today are from AOA and they just, they're so easy to apply. And for $1.55, I mean, to get, I get several uses out of a pair until I lose them or, oh, here, like I'll find them just randomly stuck on things throughout the house. So if you take care of them and put them away, you can get weeks worth of use out of them. I finished the Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer for $267. I was going to repurchase this in a full size. And then at the CCO, I bought all of those little Smashbox primers. And then I fell in love with the Dominique primer. So I will not be purchasing this one now, but it is a good one. I finished a lash glue. This is the House of Lashes, just the clear one. And when you put it on, it kind of looks white. And then as it dries down and gets ready to apply it turns like an iridescent color but you can see around the edges it's just all goopy and gross and usually about the time you get down to about the halfway mark it's getting harder to use and i made it all the way down to here this time so i've never been able to use a full lash glue before it gets gross so that's a success eight dollars i finished the laura mercier translucent setting powder this was a how many grams were in this sample? One grams. One grams of this sample, and this ended up being $1.50. Stupid. And last but not least, for beauty, I finished two perfume samples. I finished the Moschino Toy 2 for $1.87. That was okay. And I finished the YSL Libre, $3.80. Don't throw away your little things, your little samples. They add up, and they add up fast. So my 
Oh, I didn't tell you. My miscellaneous totals were $52.50. My skincare totals came out to $224.32. And my beauty totals came out to $50.85. I did not have any hair products <laughs> in July. And now I have wax. And most of it is stuff from the well it's all either from the wax melt challenge that I do on Instagram or turn and burn so my Instagram handle Deb underscore Barker underscore 12 has become like it's been overtaken by my wax melt challenge so I did this weekend start a new Instagram page Deb underscore B underscore 12 I will have both of them linked below but I started a new one just for project panning I needed a way to be able to post you know pictures of my looks or what I'm using what I'm finishing and not have it be lost in posts for wax because I love doing the wax challenges and I don't want to stop but I had so much of that content on that page already that I didn't want to move that to the new one so yeah anyway these are not going to be in order I'm just going to grab a handful and tell you what it was if I got credit for it or not and we'll go from there this was from empire alchemy it was pineapple frost kitties iced pineapple whipped cream vanilla ice cream and buttermint this was lovely and this looks like a huge bag but this was just i don't know just a few chunks in the bottom valerie sent this to me to try no credit for that one the same with this this was vanilla clouds by candy panda i don't remember this one no credit for that one from L3 Waxy Wonders, Sweet Tea and Lemon Curd. Oh, this was so good. I would absolutely reorder reorder this. There were two bunts in here, 515. From L3 Waxy Wonders, Mac Apple Brown Betty. I have had this in so many different wax challenges trying to finish it. And I finally did $6.60. And I crunched up the bunt pan or the, not the bunt pan, but the the little bread pan thing that it was in so it wouldn't take up as much room from l3 waxy wonders winter fresh spearmint white tea and ginger this was so pretty i wish i had another one of these for winter this would be the kind of scent that i would enjoy just melting while i relaxed in a bath but it sounds good right because i i don't like just relax in the bath and like but that's what this scent made me think of 515 two little buns in that one also from zodiac spokane this is a local company to me this is called ice cream truck and the description of it says smells like sticky hands and rainbow sherbet it was really lovely 4.99 and their packaging is compostable which i absolutely love the prompts for july 1st was canada day and i don't i'll find the other one here in a second but i melted for jen project beauty my canadian love and this was a sack of skulls that were white and then i had a blood bag that was red and you know she loves all things spooky and the canadian flag is red and white so i had white skulls and a red blood bag that i mixed together for her for that prompt and these these smelled lovely together so the sack of skulls was 750 and the blood bag was 750 that was an expensive day um i have second in spruce this one's called shimmer cashmere candy apple and raspberry raspberry amber no no it's called shimmer and it's cashmere candy apple raspberry and amber i don't remember what this smelled like from L3 Waxy Wonders, Watermelon, Jolly Rancher, and Cotton Candy. Oh, this one was so good. 515. From L3 Waxy Wonders, Banana Whipped Cream and Cherry. This one was okay. It wasn't, it didn't blow me away like some of the watermelon ones did. 365. From Little Mr. Wax Melts, I finished the last little chunk of the white tea and peach blossom, 350. That was, 
so beautiful oh my gosh so good from l3 flannel sheets blue sugar and peppermint this was from turn and burn i really liked that one and the good thing about these little scents is i can take notes of the ones i really liked and then buy bigger sizes of them this was from turn and burn yellow cake brown sugar i don't remember anything about it this was another one of those huge like mini loaf pan things from l3 it's blackberry bay cashmere cedar and let them eat cake this was 660 i don't remember anything about it but that's another one that was in multiple rounds of the challenge this is another sample bag sent to me from valerie from super tarts it's called zombie brains key lime pomegranate and fluffy cotton candy this was so good i would absolutely repurchase that from turn and burn i have from L3, Mac Apple Fresh Cut Grass and Strawberry Pound Cake. Yes, please. From L3, Cranberry, Strawberry, and Pomegranate for $5.15. Those were so good. From K's Scented Melt, this is called Twinkle Toes. I don't remember it, honestly. It's kind of sad. From Cloud9, I finished this little snap bar of the creamy chai. That was really yum. From L3, I finished Frosted Lime Cupcakes, Watermelon, and Peach Gummy Candies. This was so good. So good. I would absolutely repurchase that. 515. From L3, Pistachio Coconut Fluff and Boom Boom for 250. That was okay. It was a lot lighter than I thought it would be. This one wasn't in a project. I just melted it, I think, just because. It was Sensi's Tropic Nectar. From Turn and Burn, I have from Sensi Camu Camu. I love that scent. It is so good. From Cloud9, I have Cabernet Grape 275. This was so good. I would repurchase that one. From L3, this was in Turn and Burn. This is Let Them Eat Cake in Warm Vanilla Sugar. It was, it just, it smelled like a warm cake. <laughs> it wasn't bad. From L3, Bad Wolf. I don't remember it. 355. From Second and Spruce, Wildberry Cheesecake. Wildberry Cheesecake and Frosted Grams. 450. This was okay. There, I have other cheesecake scents that I like better. Oh. This one, like, 50 out of 10 a thousand out of 10 like boom this is from l3 it's called fanta orange soda grape soda and mountain dew i need more of this like that's one of those scents i could melt almost every day and never get sick of it it is so good from the crack corner i have a bag of dicks I don't want to say that too loud but it's cinnamon spiced vanilla and these were shaped like little peens and it was really sad because i think they melted or got damaged in shipping or in storage because <laughs> they were all broken and it was they were really sad in the warmer i wish i would have taken a picture because they made me laugh but from l3 i have crazy ex-girlfriend 515 from L3 Watermelon Sugar High. So good. 515. From Broadway Wax, this was called Tropical Salad. Straight strawberry, apricot, mango, and papaya. $8.30, but this was huge, and this took me several different days to finish. From Turn and Burn, this is a little sample of Scentsy's Apple Teeny Splash. I like it. From Broadway Wax, Sticky Fingers, it's Watermelon Jelly Rancher, Blue Raspberry, and Salt Water Taffy. I really liked this. And $6.20. From L3, Clean Cotton, Watermelon, and Pink Sugar Crystals. $5.15. This was interesting. It was like... clean sweet I wouldn't want my laundry to smell like that but like if my sheets smelled like that I would be okay but not my clothes okay anyway it weird but I liked it 
from Rose Girls, I have Dragon Fruit Fizzy Pops, $9. So good. But I like anything that has like fizzy in it, basically. We're getting down there to the bottom. From Scentsy, I have this sample in Pineapple Pucker. This is one that made it to Vegas. I used in the hotel room. This is so good, so good. It's from Montana Basics. You know I love her brand. It is fresh cut grass and it says clean and fresh notes of a freshly mowed lawn. And there's something in here that's like, I don't know how to describe it. I love it. And that is, oh, I had to cross out the $6. Hers are now $7, a clamshell. But I do bundles off Poshmark and then I get a discount. From the Waxy Shop, this was $4.50. It was Apple Harvest. This was really good, a really good apple scent. And from Scentsy, this is Apple Butter Frosting, another little sample. And the little sample things I don't get any credit for. And I think my bag is empty. So for wax, my wax total was $141.59, which that's a lot of money for wax when you think you're literally like burning it. But this month for beauty, I finished eight items for a total of $50.85, three full size and five travel or mini, no declutters. Skincare, I finished 17 items for a total of $224.32, 12 full size, five travel or mini, and no declutters. So for beauty and skincare, I finished 25 total items for $275.17, 15 full size, and 10 travel or mini. Uh, my hair totals, zeros across the board. I finished 42 wax items for a total of $141.59, 27 full size that I got retail credit for and 15 samples, no declutters. I finished two miscellaneous items for $52.50, two full size, no troubles or minis and no declutters. The month of July, I finished 69 items. That is really good. 44 full size, 25 sample or mini, and no declutters. So year to date, I have finished 142 beauty and skincare items. And my beauty and skincare total right now is $2,194.95. 92 full size, 44 travel or mini, and six declutters. I have finished nine hair products for $91.25, five full size, three travel or mini, and one declutter. I have finished 230 wax items, <laughs> $718.49 in wax. We need to um, reevaluate our life with that one. 113 full size, 117 sample or minis, and no declutters. Miscellaneous, 28 items, $196.50, 28 full size, no travel or minis or declutters. Year to date, we have used up 409 items for a total of $3,201.19, 238 full size, 164 travel or minis, and seven declutters. So not bad. Still still could be better getting through some things but you know the 409 items for a year although if we take wax out of there we're still under an item a day so we need to keep that real which is why i think next year when i do my empties i am going to have wax be its own video so wax will be its own what i'm melting what i'm buying everything about wax is going to be separate even for like turn and burn wax is just all one video it'll be one video a month just period and then my empties and low buy will only consist of beauty items but the reason that i put wax in last year and this year is because i count them in my inventory and i was counting them with my budget i was budgeting for it but i think I think next year I want to do it different. I want a more accurate idea of what I'm using 
that isn't wax, which I mean, I kind of have that with my numbers broken down how they are, but I just, I think I would like wax to not be included. Anyway, let's just get over that. And like I said, I did not go through and itemize out my purchases for July. Aside from polish pickup, I think everything else that I purchased was related to my trip so it doesn't count against me anyway, but I will know for when I do my August empties what I ended up at as far as my total. That way I have a starting amount for August and things happened in August. Things that I'm not proud of. I put myself in the hole so, so bad that I did not even make a purchase for September's polish pickup. Yeah, so I'm scared. Anyway, I am going to wrap this up here. I, yeah. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for giving me some of your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're having a really good day or night. Please go follow my new Instagram account to follow me for panning content and whatever else I post there. And, uh, I love you. All right. Oh, my hair is tickling me right there. Oh. From L3, I finished the Frosted... From L3, this was in Turn and Burn. This is Banana Nut Bread and Banana Cream Pie. It was just okay. This doesn't belong in here. Sorry, I found one that goes in the August empties. From the Crack Corner... <laughs> this... <laughs> there was a day that... Skincare, I finished 17 items. 